On today's episode of Watch Chairgo, we are here with my 2004 Honda Civic that Gabe has been driving for months and months and months. And today, we're gonna do what's possibly the most controversial oil change there is. What is going on guys? I am Watch Chairgo, and today I am here with my 2004 Honda Civic uh, I talked about this in one other video and after that Gabe took it home because his Saturn Sky has a blown up turbo and he's been driving it ever since. Well, he hasn't been driving it any time recently because he jumped off the roof of his house. I think he was reenacting Superman and when he hit the ground, uh, his like entire heel and ankle, everything shattered. So he's a little bit out of commission right now. So leave a comment for Gabe down below. He's recovering. I saw him a few minutes ago and he's hanging out on the couch with the uh, cooling thing, you know, cooling down his leg and it's all in a cast. So he can't drive at the moment. I figured it's the perfect time to take this thing back, which has needed an oil change forever, change the oil and then take it back to him. So when he can drive it or when they need to use it for whatever, it's good to go. But that is not the point. The point here is today we're going to vacuum the oil out of that Civic. And I have seen and heard of a few instances where people have vacuumed the oil out of their cars and the collective internet just throws a fit. Now techs don't throw a fit because I, they know already that this is the way to do it. Today we're gonna do it on this and see what you guys think. And then after we're done vacuuming the oil out of it, I'm gonna pull the drain plug so we can see just how much oil is left. What we have here is the OEM Tools 24862. This is the 21 gallon oil drain vacuum and extractor. Uh, I'm very excited for this because of the capacity and it also has all of the pro level stuff that I wanted to have in an oil extractor. Now OEM Tools did send this over. I uh, asked for it and they shipped it on over here uh, so I could make a video with it, which is something I've been very excited to do for a while. We were gonna do the Audi like this, but I think the Audi, we might actually pull the drain plugs just because it's one of those ridiculous oil changes where you have to pull like five different drain plugs. You could probably do it just fine with this and you'd probably get the sump and the engine and everything. But I just wanna show how difficult the RE oil change actually is. And that is uh, at its break in mileage and ready to be done. Now FedEx dropped this off and they said, we've got a water heater for you. There we go. I can feel there was something else in there. This is no water heater. This is R2D2. It actually, you know what this looks like? The Android logo exactly. All right. Well, that is a, a lot less assembly than I expected. I thought we were gonna have to do a ton of work. All we really have to do is put on the drain pans and all that. This is really cool because it can be my other oil drain and it can be a vacuum extractor. It, uh, it's a whole setup and it just holds a ton of oil, which is exactly what I needed. Okay, let's set this uh, cute robot up. See, this thing goes up here. Probably like so. Hey, look at that, you can actually just bottom it out. I think that's about where it belongs. There we go. That is all set up. This thing goes up here. The big cash pan goes in there. There's a strainer that drops in there. Hook this thing up here. This looks like the actual drain. I think you pressurize it. Hey, look at that. Drain pressure, suction pressure, it looks like. And then you uh, just dump this in your barrel of waste oil. So it just kind of sits in there like so. Nice. And they even give you the air hose connector. It's a standard uh, industrial connector there. Now they send you all the attachments in this giant case here. And all the attachments go in here. I think that's all of them. Ah, check it out. A little rod so you can clear any jams if any debris gets stuck in your pickup hose. And then all the rest of these drop into their individual holes. And the bottom of this is sealed so that any oil that drains back down stays in there. And you pull this out, dump it in the top to drain the oil down if need be. It is time to learn how this thing works. Uh, suction valve here by these uh, pressure reliefs. Make sure it's open. Fill and suction valve here. This is the one from the upper drain. Make sure that's closed. Close that one. Close that one, which is the actual drain, I think. 
And then open this valve. Here we go. And you can see we are pulling a lot of vacuum, almost uh, negative 15 inches of mercury. All right, let's do this. I'm excited to see this because like most of you, I've never drained oil before with a vacuum, but it is like a very common practice at like Walmart, Jiffy Lube, all the oil change shops now, because techs would change oil and leave the drain plug out and the customer would get a new engine, which personally is one of my favorite things to do of all time. Uh, I love taking cheap cars to Walmart and stuff like that or wherever and letting them change the oil and hoping the engine will blow because you're playing the car guy lottery and if you win the lottery, you get a new engine for free. A lot of those places now require their techs to vacuum the oil out so they never touch the drain plug and then no engines ever fail and everything's good to go. Uh, no Less liability for them, honestly. So let's find a dipstick tube that I don't think it even needs to be remotely that long, but let's just go for that one. That's the bottom of the oil pan, isn't it? That is so cool. There's a filter in here, I assume. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Stay, stay, stay. And let's hook up our air and everything's set up so we should be able to just instantly vacuum out the well. We'll get my Blackstone bottle ready as well because I want to do a sample while we're doing this. So. I don't know if this is going to work. I have a feeling it's not. This thing should be about done here. You can hear some noise in the tank now and our vacuum's dropping, which means I think we're just about out of oil in here. Now for the part everybody wants to see. So I went ahead and vacuumed it out. I left it on for like two minutes, three minutes, something like that. Uh, even less than you usually wait for everything to keep draining out of the pan. And now we're gonna lift this thing up, pull the drain plug, pull the filter, and see how much oil is left in it, if any. I think it's gonna be perfect. It's how Mercedes recommends their oil get changed now, especially since the filters are on top. BMW probably the same. Um, it's like a manufacturer spec at this point to vacuum the oil out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> There's your answer. Wow. And that's even better than just pulling the drain plug because the vacuum would have got that last quarter inch that's underneath the plug there. Uh, now I just need to reach up in there, grab that filter, and swap it out. Still getting some oil out of the filter, that's for sure. Oh, come on. Who would design this Honda? When the oil comes out of the filter, it comes down the support bracket for the transaxle and just pours oil all over the place. All right, old filter's gone. Literally a genuine Honda filter. Look at that. Honda badge goes around the Honda logo there. I went to the dealership to buy this. So we could do the greatest oil change ever. Like I said, we're also sending this oil off to Blackstone. Uh, we're gonna have them do an analysis because I'm sure you're all as interested as I am to see what a Honda looks like with uh, just over 200,000 miles on the clock that's probably never been cared for really or anything like that. And to finish the Honda off, we're going back with four quarts of O'Reilly full synthetic high mileage instead of Syntec. Uh, I just figure this thing has a ton of mileage. We might as well run the high mileage oil in it. Should have some extra additives, help keep this thing alive. So let's pour this in here, start it up. Should be back on the road. But I noticed a nasty misfire on the way over here. I'm probably gonna pull the coil packs and see if there's oil down in the spark plug wells. Uh, if there's anything wrong with this, I would assume that's what it is. Typically is those spark plug wells. They start leaking and that misfire appears real quick. Usually I Bluetooth funnel this, but funnel was laying beside the oil. <laughs> and we are just about at the full mark. I'll give it one little blip of oil and should be good to go. All right, last step here. Let's check these wells. Should just take one second. Need a 10 and a straight bit screwdriver. There's oil in them. You can tell the second it lifted up. 
Bad seals. Well, hey, I know what I'm fixing tomorrow. New spark plug well seals on this 04 Civic. Now, I didn't talk about this too much because most of you will already know what this is as soon as you see the little black jug. This is a Blackstone oil analysis, and I picked this up just for this Honda because I really do want to see what a Honda engine looks like after uh, 200,000 miles on the clock with a stock engine. So, obviously, we pulled a bunch of oil out midstream and poured it into the little bottle here they give you. Once you've got the bottle full, screw the cap on. I'm going to put a piece of tape around it too to make sure the cap doesn't back off. Then you put it in the bag, then you put it in this oil dry, uh, the oil absorbent here wrap that around everything and then you put it all back in here oh hey they even include a little sticker so you can note your oil change mileage date all that good stuff and throw it in the car and then you ship it off to blackstone they do an analysis and they'll tell you how the engine's doing how much metals in the oil how much zinc is in the oil basically a full breakdown of the sample that you send them and that'll give you a good idea of how your engine's doing what you're really looking for is a ton of metal like rod bearing failure or main bearing failure or something like that. So this gives you a good idea for $30, how your engine's doing. And uh, it's not an ad or anything like that. Just guys that are obsessed with their oil do it all the time. I've uh, actually never done one before because I'd rather change an engine than do this. But uh, today we're gonna do it just cause I wanna see how this Honda's doing. Airplane guys do this all the time though because it actually matters in your plane and that engine actually matters too. So uh, mileage on oil on this thing, I think we're, I don't know, 4,000-ish, we don't actually know. Uh, mileage on engine, 201. And oil added between changes, we wanna go with zero. Oil type, uh, unknown 5W20. In we go, got our slip all filled out. Wrap this thing in the uh, oil absorbent here. Actually, I think I might wrap it and then put it in the Ziploc bag. Then throw that in the uh, actual shipping container. There we go. Ready to head off. There you have it, the spookiest oil change ever on Halloween. Let me know in the comments how much you disagree with vacuuming the oil out. I have a feeling it will be uh, a wild conversation because it's just happened so many times before. There's a lot of people that believe this can only be done one way and that's pulling the drain pan. Uh, I'm gonna start doing a lot of them this way because I think it's a lot faster. And honestly, it's really clean if you don't have to keep pulling the thing out midstream. <laughs> when that Blackstone oil analysis comes back as well, I'll share it with you guys and we'll see how this old thing is doing. Anyway, I hope you have a happy Halloween. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop. Watch Jericho.com where you get cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Oh, look at all that oil from the filter down in there. And I've got suction. <laughs> That's pretty cool.